we headed off first light out of Omaha beautiful conditions calm seas and we cruised out making our way towards Mokihino Islands about 50 kilometers offshore it was a very cold fresh winter's morning but we were excited and it wasn't long before we got out to the islands and were in the water The Mokahina is notorious for very clean blue water but we got a bit unlucky on this day it was pretty hazy, murky and pretty green but it was uh, fishy nonetheless. Diving down once again, we were trying to search for some kingfish. It was early morning, the current was pushing here at the spot, but uh, nothing much was showing up except for thousands of blue mau mau, kohiru, and uh, we started soon to get onto the pink mau mau, another great eating fish. Pretty cool here, the hundreds of blue mau mau chasing me back up to the surface. It was a pretty cool sight. There's a lot of current humming around this, this island to the to the right and left, so early days yet. Who knows what we're gonna come across today? Jumping in, we were greeted with this dirty murky water, but it was just teeming with kahiru. As you can see here, just hundreds if not thousands just circling the island. Big fat barrels of fish. I thought they were small tuna to begin with. I've never seen such big kahiru. Uh, the video doesn't even do these fish justice. So of course they uh, nailed a few of those. They're the most amazing eating fish. The best sashimi in New Zealand I think. They're beautiful, melt in your mouth. It can be really hard actually shooting a fish in a situation like this. Um, there's just so many to choose from. You just need to choose a, a nice big fat one, keep your eye on it and just go for it. Otherwise it can be a bit overwhelming and you end up missing out on an opportunity.
place is just alive here. It's amazing. Just hundreds and hundreds of the biggest kahira I've ever seen. Big schools of kawai just just drifting through. Um, I've seen one small kingfish. I had to put some nice kids coming underneath. So um, yeah. Now a few nice big fat kahira. After having some fun diving in the big schools of Kahiru and taking a nice few fat fish to take home, uh, we decided to move on to the next species. Diving down underneath these schools of Kahiru, we started to spot some pink Mau Mau. Here's one mid-screen just swimming away from us. Um, another top eating beautiful fish so started to get a few of these to chuck on ice. With large numbers of pink Mau Mau around we had the luxury of being quite picky and uh, selected so waited until we found some nice big mature fish and uh, started to pluck a few off fun hunting these fish they can be very tricky at times uh, not so much in a location like this however Not the most ideal shot here, right in the middle of the fillet, but not a worry, plenty more of these fish around so had the chance to get a few more. Really beautiful fish, once they come up to the surface, they really have a very bright, vibrant pink colour, hence the name Pink Mau Mau, awesome fish. After going around the corner here for a bit of an exploration swim, I was greeted with this immense school of pink Mau Mau. Um, really, it's just a special place out here at the Mokahi Mounds. There's not many places where you'll see this many so shallow. This is about three to four meters down below the surface. Already having a few pink Mau Mau, had a few dives, just appreciating them, and then spotted this familiar fish. Just here at the top of the screen you can see them camouflaged in the, the weeds here. It's a scorpion fish, aka Granddaddy Harpooka. Not wanting to shoot my gun through the fish into the rocks, bending the spear, I just stabbed him and uh, that did the job. Brought him to the surface and there he turned nice ready orange colour and uh, yeah it's pretty stoked, it's a beautiful eating fish otherwise known as poor man's crayfish alright beautiful scorpion fish excellent eating well it's not really um, been the conditions which the Mokahina is known for clear pristine blue water um, and abundance of kingfish and whatnot, but hey, there's plenty of fish life, absolutely thousands of full mature grown um, kahiru, so just top eating fish, um, kawai, pink mama, I've never seen so many in my life, if you want to tip that off the list, this is the place to do it, get a shot on the surface, it's a beautiful spot, that wind's died right off, so it's just a stunning afternoon, as you can see, it's just, it's glass, it's beautiful, uh, managed to See this scorpion fish sneak away into a crack and uh, yeah, put it down top of him and just whack the, whack the spear into him. So, uh, yeah, top eating fish. If you haven't had them before, uh, they named them Poor Man's Crayfish. Quite a similar taste, it's um, the name, but yeah, just beautiful eating. So, um, get yeah, him on ice and you know, we've got some good fish for the, for the week. We've got butterfish, uh, pink mau mau, uh, kikiru, scorpion fish, greedy. 
Grand Daddy car pocket they have, as I was known as. So yeah, stoked. Let's see what we got in here. Beautiful treats. Grand Daddy car pocket. Beautiful pink Mau Mau. Big Kahiru. The size of these. Absolutely enormous. Um, butterfish. Look at this guy here. It is just. They're, they're massive, fat barrels. So, yeah, I've got a good smokers of fish in there. Beautiful. Well, still no kingfish seen. Heaps of pink mama and all the other usuals. As we've seen all day, but hey, they could chop at any moment. That's how it um, goes, sparing and fishing. Another carboy and pink mau mau on the, the gun here, diving back down into these schools, searching for a big kingfish. Here's a nice trevally, just in the middle here. I didn't spot him until the last minute. Almost got a shot off, but he took off. Very cool diving. Just a, an amazing sight, seeing so many mau mau and, and fish. A great fishery this far out. Just after this dive here, unfortunately the camera uh, went dead, but I uh, got a shot into a huge kingfish which swam in randomly out of the gloom, probably 25 pushing 30 kilograms, and uh, I got a very good shot into the fish, but it wasn't hurt enough, and I was straight down into the reef, managing to snap my shooting line. Um, it was quite unfortunate, first time that it ever happened to me, but um, yeah, things like that happen. After that, we made the decision to head home for the day. We had a nice bin full of beautiful eating fish and um, it was a long way back to shore, so off we went. Incredible afternoon. Just a pleasure being in the water. Couldn't resist. Nice, good size. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And a, and a big kawai. kawai. So, um, Get those in the chiller. We've got plenty of fish. We cannot complain. Beautiful eating fish species.
on the long trek home it just turned into an absolute glass over not a breath of wind absolutely beautiful scenes and then we got uh, chased by a nice pot of dolphins coming in for a look just a beautiful beautiful afternoon on the water love days like this who doesn't One of the things which I love in particular about spearfishing and diving and being out on the ocean is it's always a different day out on the water. There's always something different. Dolphins, whales, different sea life you've never seen before. Just weird, unique things happening. It's just an incredible place being out on the water. I love it. <laughs> 